back. This is ENCA. Now, popular classified platform Gumtree has seen an increase in scams during lockdown. However, while there are more scams, criminals aren't necessarily more successful. However, the platform is concerned about the sharp rise in what it calls buyer scams. To unpack this, I'm joined now via Skype by Gumtree's brand marketing manager, Estelle Nachal. Estelle, good, after good morning. Uh, thank you for joining me. So the, it, one of the things we were sort of appreciating about the lockdown is that it has given a bump to online shopping and e-commerce. But you are saying as Gumtree, from your experience, um, that has come with certain um, negative aspects to it as well. What have you observed in as far as uh, scams are concerned? Certainly. Um, thank you so much for, for having me on the show. Um, I think our platform is quite unique in that we are an online shopping platform, but we allow ordinary South Africans and entrepreneurs to trade. And I think what we've seen with the economic pressure from COVID, we've got lots of people selling their luxury items. So that would be electronic devices, it would be jewelry and antiques. And when you've got a high influx of those valuable items um, and you've got people who are also quite desperately in need of cash, that just makes people slightly more vulnerable to scammers who then take advantage of the situation and of the little bit of desperation that might arise to, to actually scam people. So Estelle, part of the story is because people are losing their incomes and a lot of people are putting up their items for sale on a platform like yours, which is really more, more or less like a, a marketplace for people to sell whatever it is that they're selling, because of that, people are more vulnerable and are you saying people are not taking the precautions that they ordinarily would? I think so. I think as with anything, there are certain protocols you've got to adhere to when you sell online to keep yourself safe. And if you are desperate for cash and somebody's saying, I'm going to pay 5,000 Rand into your account right now, and you can cover your rent when maybe you, you couldn't do it otherwise, you might be slightly less cautious about it and you might ignore some red flags that you otherwise wouldn't. So it is very, very important that people, even though they are vulnerable and they might need cash, actually just take a minute to read through the safety instructions and make sure that they are responding in a way that is very responsible. One particular area of concern that you have as Gumtree has to do with what you are calling bias scams. Right. And this relates to uh, the, the processing of payments and you mentioned that the issue around proof of payment what exactly is the trend that you are noticing that people should be aware of right so this happens particularly when somebody puts up a high value item let's say a laptop um, somebody would contact them to say look I'm not close to you but I desperately want it I will pay 5,000 Rand over to you they then submit a fake proof of payment, either SMS or a PDF. Uh, the seller thinks that the item has been paid for. He hands it over to an intermediary or a, usually a, an Uber driver, but it could also be a third party. Um, and then when they check their bank account, the money was actually never paid in. Um, it does take different forms. We've also seen that scammers would pay for an item with a check so that it looks like they are funds entering your account, but they can actually cancel the check within a week or two, or they would pay with a uh, with an a EFT deposit and then reverse the deposit afterwards. So the best defense against that is to always make sure that the money has cleared in your account before you hand over any item. Uh, best case scenario, once somebody has paid you and you see the funds, transfer it to another account or withdraw it at the ATM as well, just to ensure that you've got that cash in hand and somebody doesn't abscond with your stuff. And lastly, Estelle, I was going to ask you about what tips you have uh, for people to avoid falling uh, to that, but I see that you've already uh, talked to that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's it. Yeah, we can leave it there. Thank you so much, Estelle. Unless there's something else you'd want to add, uh, partly about yeah. the issue of payment platforms, because I imagine that in many instances, um, the online platform that facilitates uh, online sales usually has a payment platform that has yeah. been checked and pre-verified. But in your right. case, you being a marketplace, rather than yeah. the people who are actually selling stuff, you work differently. And it's important yeah. for people to know that, right? 
Sure. I mean, there are lots of safe payment ways you can use. Um, cash is also always king. But I think it just boils down to uh, making sure that if you are selling an item, you've got cash in hand before you hand it over. And also, if you are buying an item, because we see the opposite as well. If you're buying an item, make sure that you've seen it in person, checked it, seen that it works before you actually pay for it. Um, never pay a deposit on a house or a car if you haven't test driven it, if you haven't visited the premises. And best of all, don't let an urgency for money actually cloud your judgment. Right. Just use common sense. It's not super sophisticated. You don't need to know a lot about technology. Just be very, very careful. And if you need help, reach out to us. We've got a full call center 24 hours a day that you can send us an email request and we will get back to you with some advice. Fantastic sage advice there from Estelle Nachal, who is the brand marketing manager at Gumtree, warning about the increase in scams during this time of the lockdown.